Okay, so we'll go through the steps to uh, uh, generate an e-blast, and we'll take this uh, short videos at a time. First thing you're going to do is just uh, become familiar with where everything is. Uh, a couple things that need to happen. You need to know where to upload images. If you're going to include images in the e-blast, um, and then um, how to make those images available, and then how to get in and create um, an actual template to send out uh, when you do an e-blast. So the first thing we'll do is just um, creating a very simple template. So uh, first thing you do is you're going to go to up here to where your name is. Uh, click on, uh, actually check that. Go to setup. From the setup screen, you're going to come over here, click on communication templates, uh, email templates. Okay, and then um, uh, from here, you can see I've got a bunch of email templates um, uh, created already, uh, but we're going to create a new one. When you do this, you want to make sure that um, you're in my personal email templates folder. Uh, not the unified public email template folder. And I don't know if that shows up on everyone's uh, system or not, but just to make sure you're in this one. So new template, um, always create HTML, best way to do it because we can track that and uh, generate reports afterward. Click next. And then um, again, you see where we're in our folder. Make sure you check available for use. Without that, it will be useless. Email template name. I've created uh, quite a few test templates already, already in attempting to make these videos. So I'm going to call it test template um, video. Test video. We'll call it test video one. Hopefully that will be unique. Letterhead. Um, I'm going to recommend always choose NA4 just to keep it consistent. Layout, um, I generally use Freeform. You can play around with the other options, but I generally use Freeform. Description, I very seldom fill in. Click Next, and that will take you to your um, editing screen. And then, of course, up here you're going to see your um, standard formatting controls. Um, and then uh, merge fields. I generally don't use merge fields only because you don't always know if all the data in the database is correct. And if someone has filled in something in a, in, in a field that shouldn't be there, and you pull that into your email template, it will, sh it will show. So um, I generally try and avoid these. And then subject, um, test, template. We'll call it test template. Okay, um, and then go ahead and click here for your content. Uh, this is my first email template. Okay, and again we're not going over uh, pulling in images at this point, just creating a simple template. Um, go ahead and uh, finish out your content and then uh, hit next and it'll take you to the uh, text version of the email. So when you do these e-blasts, um, you're creating an HTML template and that is what will be sent out, but not all people will receive that HTML version of it just because their browser may not, um, um, it may not interpret that HTML email template and it, it will see it as text only. So when that happens, um, they don't see images, they don't see any fancy formatting, all they see is plain text. So we want to make sure that whatever you pull into your text portion of your e-blast uh, still conveys the message in the event that someone has that. So copy text from email version is generally what I'll click. It'll say all existing text version content will be overwritten. Are you sure? Yes because I don't have any anyway. So you see, it pulls in whatever I put in my HTML template. If I had images, it would not pull that in. 
if you wanted to create alternate text for that image, you could, but I'd keep it simple. At that point, you're done. Click Save, and you've created the, the, your first template. Now, if you want to find out where that template is, you'll go back into Email Templates, and this was Test Video 1, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my T's, Test Video 1, and there it is right there. So that's it, creating a very simple email template. Uh, next, or the um, following videos, we'll get into pulling images in and uh, sprucing up your document so it's a little, a little more inviting to the eye.